Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to uh, replace my brake caliper because when I was driving, when I was driving, I pressed the pedal and all the pedal went down, but it didn't come up. The brake pedal. So it's a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500, 24 valves coming diesel. So when I checked, packed it, so it was leaking on the caliper. So I came and packed it, drove it slow, came and packed it. So today we're going to attempt to remove the caliper and try to replace it. But before I replace the caliper, I already bought a new one from O'Reilly. Yeah, right here. Then, uh, but before you replace it, let's inspect it first and see what else is wrong. Because you might replace the, uh, the caliper, but there's something else, bro, which is wrong. So, you need to be fixed. You're already open. You got open space. Let's fix it. Let's do it. So, here we are again. When I moved the, removed the caliper, the caliper was, was leaking, yes, because the problem was... The brake pads they are all worn out i bought this truck maybe maybe six months ago i don't use it that much just started using it recently but now i see i should have done all this all along so the, the brake pads are worn out as you can see that's the the other one see what it is that's what's causing the the, the the pistons on the caliper to move came all the way out so they are leaking so i could have put it put it back because they still look good but I already bought a new one, so I, I, I removed the new one. What you do is, on the side over here, there's a hole where you put right here. This goes over here, somewhere over there. This is a half inch. I removed those, took the caliper out, took the brakes off. Now, one more problem I saw. The problem I found is my rotors are all gone, man. These rotors are gone, worn out. So I'm going to attend to remove them. I'm going to remove this bracket right here, which is uh, the 15 16s. It's already losing them, so I'm going to take them out. Take it out like that. Boom. Fell down. Here's the other bolt. Two bolts out. Now, just to remove this, the rotor, the rotor is stuck, way it's too stuck, because I'm sure it hasn't been moved, it hasn't been changed. Probably handbrake is on too. That's why it's tight. Let me go see. Probably the handbrake is on. I never usually put it on, but let's go see. No, it's not. That's on. That's off right there. So let's see what's, what's what over here because it's hot today. And uh, time to finish this this thing before it gets too hot. Oh, I just decided not to do it today. I got other stuff to do. Oh, I'm gonna try. <coughs> take it out. Let me take these retainers right here. Take them out.
not an expert this is the first time i did this so i'm doing this i did a couple of trucks brakes i did it but i've never been done a doji yet it's my first time so we're learning as we go should have brought my gloves i think i got gloves with the truck but So for these retainers, you see right here, you've got to make sure that all these small, small grooves or loops, they are facing outwards. And then you can just turn it like that and just comes out. That's like unscrewing it. But if the if the the grooves are kind of uh, facing down, they all spread down. It becomes too tight to move. It's like a. It's like a says like it's tightening like they are pressed in and locking they are locked so I already moved two this is the third one it's getting too hard so today I'm only gonna do one side yeah I got because I gotta be at work around three o'clock I gotta go fix one other trailer that doesn't want to go into gears so it is, it is what it is. Okay. Okay, so we removed the the clips. Channel clips. There's supposed to be three. I don't know what where's the other one. Where's the third one? Oh here is. The third one right here. Channel clips right here. Three. They go on the lugs. I put them in there. So now the next thing to do is we gotta kick remove don't try to remove the the rotor right there it's stuck so uh, mostly i have to go bang on it so let's go let's see we have to go bang it we have to keep you somewhere where let's see all the banging going on See me or not? I don't know. But I know I'm going over there. And this thing. Oh, you guys fell there. We fix you guys before I go there. Okay. So, Bluetooth out. Maybe not. I forgot my hammer home. Oh shoot, this thing lasted. Worn out, completely worn out. There you go. So, as you can see, this thing was worn out. Very bad. Look at that. You can see all the grooves worn out. So, because it's like this on this side, what I'm going to do, the handbrake looks fine. Very good. A lot of rust. So, now let's go to the parts store. Get us some parts. Okay, guys, we're back. We got the brakes. Break the brake rotors. New one from O'Reilly. And uh, also, we have uh, the brake parts. So, and I bought a vacuum line for my AC to cool my AC don't blow on the vents. Ah. Unboxing. There we are. 
let's finish this thing man it's getting too hard over here so look for somewhere to keep you guys as you see what I'm doing I'm gonna do a lot of work now and less talking because I'm gonna finish this one it's getting too hard it's getting too hard too hard too hard too hard more work less talking
put the bracket in first. Sixteens. I said fifteen sixteen, but thirteen sixteens. That's tight enough. Now put the new brake pads. Just like that. Bada boom, bada bam, bam. Right there. The next thing is the brake caliper needs to go in. Caliper goes in like that. Fell down, so put you somewhere here. Maybe you can, you cannot, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there now. So we put the pali caliper back, and then we put the bracket and the caliper, they're all back. Then I went inside, added some brake fluid, added some brake fluid in, in the reservoir, right there until it was full. Then I came inside. And uh, just push the brakes, pump it several times just to make sure that uh, the calipers on the brakes just expand. So, so I did that. Now I gotta put. Uh, I gotta put back everything together. Put the tire back. I thought I needed a. Uh, need some coolant in here. I thought I needed some uh, two rotors from both sides for both sides, but uh, only the one side. The other side is good. The brakes are good. So, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna 
come and turn the brake pads anyways regardless so we're gonna put the tire back let's see what happens we're gonna test drive it so we put everything back together we put everything back together now let's go for a test drive yep that track don't jump I won't go far, just a little bit around here. It's too hard to be driving around. Is the brake light still on? Probably because it comes up very, you need to bleed it. Probably that's, that's the problem. But there's no blade fluid in there, so I gotta bleed it. So it needs bleeding, so I'll be back tomorrow when it's a little bit cooler and I bleed it. I need my cousin to come help me out. So see you in the next video when I'm bleeding it. <laughs>